Okay, the first thing I noticed when this screen popped up is that there wasn't any um, wireless icon in the system tray, and I know that this computer has a wireless card. So I went to Start, and I right-clicked on My Computer, and I went to Properties, and then I went to Hardware, and clicked on Device Manager. Now there's probably a more logical way to do this, it's easy to remember, but that's the shortcut. Anyway, I noticed all of these devices right here that have the question marks next to them, which means that they're not installed correctly. Anyway, the, the uh, network controller is listed, I assume that's the wireless card. So what I'll do... What will I do? I don't know. Aha! There's this drivers and utilities disk. So maybe I'll try that, and that would be good. Once I have the, uh, a network driver, uh, everything else is really simple because I can just run Windows Update to get everything. But maybe this will have some useful stuff. Yeah. One thing I want to do first before I change anything is I want to make sure that if I mess anything up I can go back to this point. So I'm going to go to Start, All Programs, Accessories, System Tools, and System Restore. Now you can use this to restore your system, but you can also use it to create a restore point, which I'll click right there, and then click Next. And ask for a description, so I'll say clean install right there, that's perfect and I'll click create and let this do its thing and it's done so I'll click close yay, okay so now I'll put in that Dell disk and see what it does and it says uh, the Dell Resource CD is about to begin the installation routine. Once the installation is completed, you can launch the Dell Resource CD by reinserting it into the drive. Blah blah blah. I'm just going to click OK. And then next and then finish. Oh. Oh, this is exactly what I wanted. The Dell Resource CD is your resource for device drivers, diagnostics, and technical information. In the event that they were required to solve a problem, they oh, this is really nice. Uh, okay, so... Next. Ooh. Okay, I figured this thing out now. I thought the check mark meant that the device was successfully installed, but it really means that the device is present on the system. It doesn't necessarily mean that it's installed correctly. So I'll click on the wireless one. This Intel Pro slash wireless network thing. And scroll down, and okay, I'll install this one before I install a different one that I just assumed was the right card, but it wasn't. So the lesson is to actually read what's on the screen. It helps. Yay, and it looks like it's already there. And it sees my network, and that's really good. So that was simple. So I'll let this do this thing, and I'll come back. Okay, so I installed the drivers, and then I noticed that the networking symbol is there now. 
and I connected to my home network, and that was nice. And now there's this other uh, extraneous icon here, and I'll just hide that because it's pointless. So now what I can do is go to Windows Update and have it get updates to Windows and probably all of these drivers right here. So we'll close that and go to Start, All Programs, ah, and then Windows Update. Make that bigger. <laughs> so it does stuff. Okay, so then I scroll down and I'm, I'm going to click Custom because Express only installs critical updates and not driver updates or some optional updates. Optional updates would be like Windows Media Player or the .NET Framework if you know what that is. Okay, so it finished its magical scan and this default like Internet Explorer thing comes up and just click yes. And then, oh, so there's this component to Windows Update that needs to install. So you download that, let it do its thing. I'll get back to you. Okay, so that finished, so it asks you want to restart, and I'll just say yes. Again, you probably don't need to, but it says to, so why not? Okay, so the computer started up, and I opened Windows Update and told it to do a custom install, or custom scan, rather. I don't know what they call it. So then, <clears throat> it says there are 80 high priority updates. Yeah, this disk is pretty out of date. And all of those are automatically checked. And there are 11 uh, optional software updates. And I'll just select all. And there's one hardware update to the video driver. So I'll click that. And then you go to install updates right here. And install updates. And this is, now oh yeah, you have some EULAs here. So you have to accept those, otherwise it'll yell at you. And we wouldn't want that. So here's the thing for Windows Genuine Advantage. It asks you some stuff. Just click through it. <coughs> you don't really have to install this, but uh, it's, I don't know, it's just a good idea. Because if you don't install this, then uh, other free software from Microsoft won't install. Oops, I clicked, I clicked cancel. I want to agree, and then click next. There we go. Okay. Okay, so yeah, uncheck this thing, which asks you if you want to learn more about Windows Genuine Advantage. And I click finish. Okay. Okay, here's another thing that you have to click through. It's to install the next version of Internet Explorer. And I highly recommend doing this. I don't see any reason to not do it. So, you click install, and then I accept, and then validate, which makes sure that you're not running an illegal version of Windows, and then, yeah, you want to do this. This will, basically, it scans for the most common viruses, um, which is always good. Okay, so that finished, and it says that one wasn't uh, installed. Whatever, we'll get back to that. Anyway, so I'll click this Restart Now button.